If you want to get your videos from uh, Ecamm Live into YouTube, there's a few ways that you can go about this and I'm gonna tell you about them in this short video. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech, my name's Alec. And in this video, I'm gonna basically answer a question that was asked in the Ecamm Live Facebook group. And so that's probably a good segue to say, if you are not aware of the Ecamm Live Facebook group, then head over to facebook.com slash groups slash Ecamm Live uh, and join a community of really supportive, like-minded people all uh, getting things done with Ecamm Live. And it's a great place to get your questions answered. Uh, and also you can just search, if you have got a question, search in there and uh, you'll often find answers before you even need to post yourself so uh, it's a great uh, community but somebody had asked uh, specifically is there a way to post your video to YouTube after you have finished if you haven't actually clicked the uh, the post to YouTube button that comes up when you do finish your recording uh, so I thought what I'd do is just make a little video to talk about the essentially three different ways that you could uh, get your content from Ecamm Live into YouTube so uh, with that, I'm going to go into demo mode and uh, I'll give you a little rundown of all of the options. The first one that I'm going to show you is actually how to just go live into YouTube. Now, I know that this wasn't the question, but I just thought I'd cover it because uh, I'm covering basically the three different ways that you can get content into YouTube from Ecamm Live. So down in the bottom corner of Ecamm Live, you'll see a... Uh, uh, a button here that says destination and it usually defaults to record only so if I click on this one and then we can also change to either streaming to Facebook LinkedIn Twitch YouTube uh, I did do another video all about actually how to go uh, how to go live into these different things so I'll leave a link to that up in the top corner um, but basically here you would just select YouTube uh, now if you haven't previously used YouTube with Ecamm live uh, then there'll be actually a button here rather than saying go live like it says at the moment it will just say uh, log in and so there you'll click that to log in and then you'll just go through the process of logging in with your YouTube uh, username and password and give permission for Ecamm live to uh, basically access your channel so that's how you do it and then once you've done that you can then have the destination set as YouTube and you can change the type of broadcast so whether it's basically going to be a public video uh, unlisted or private so you can al always just record directly into YouTube that way first if you don't want to just do it sort of live to uh, uh, broadcast to everybody uh, and then it would be unlisted and you could go and uh, have a look at it afterwards and list it if you wished uh, and then also you can do a private video uh, here you can also add a title and a description down at the bottom uh, and then also you can go into uh, uh, either go live now unscheduled or if you have scheduled a live event before you can schedule that uh, down uh, you can click on one of the scheduled events or you can actually just schedule a new uh, live event by clicking on here adding in a title a description and a thumbnail and then you can just do all of the scheduling from within Ecamm itself uh, almost so that you don't really have to go and do anything in uh, in YouTube if you didn't wish so you could just schedule it in here put in, in all of the details you wouldn't be able to add tags and things like that so you would have to go back and do those after the fact but at least you can sort of plan it out and get everything ready for the uh, the, the live stream uh, go live and then afterwards go and tweak a few of the final details. So this is basically how you would go live to YouTube. But as I say, that wasn't the question. The question was about recording. So if I just come back into my uh, record only, uh, now normally what happens is I'm gonna start doing a video where I uh, click on the big record button down here. Now, when you've finished your video in uh, in Ecamm Live and the recording ends, what you'll get is this, and it says either uh, show uh, file, so you can click on that and it will take you to the uh, the location in the finder where your file is located, uh, or there is this send to YouTube. So sometimes what I do is once I've finished a recording, I just click this button, it sends it to YouTube to start the upload, and then I go in and edit the details. Now, the specific question that was asked in the Ecamm group was, is there a way to to send the video to YouTube if you've basically not clicked this button. So if I click OK now, uh, then it seems that I've lost the, uh, the possibility of sending that video to YouTube. Well, what I wanted to show you, and the answer to that question is, there is indeed a way to send this video to YouTube even after you've uh, finished the, video, the uh, recording. And that is by coming up to the recording menu and click on that. And then you'll see there is send last recording to YouTube here as an option, or it is also command Y. So even if you've finished your recording and you've come out of the uh, video, then you can still go and just basically press Command Y 
or come up to this recording menu up here and uh, go send last recording to YouTube. And that, I think, answers the question that was asked in the Ecamm group. Well, I hope you have found that useful and it's uh, answered the question. And if you have, then don't forget to go and like and subscribe to the channel so that you get notified whenever I make any new videos. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, until the next one, I'll leave a playlist of all of my Ecamm Live videos over on the right-hand side there. So until the next time, have a great day.